we need each other. Don't we? Are you okay? Hurry, please. Wherever you go. Hello? Hello, I'm standing right by in you. Adrian is, I think, kind of the epitome of like the toxic male. Yeah. And I, and I wondered, was, was there any hesitation over taking something so <laughs> dark? Do you know what? There really wasn't. Mm -hmm. And I, th I think it's because Lee had written such an honest, it didn't feel exploitative mm -hmm. in any way. You know, he's written a story about domestic abuse and, mm -hmm. uh, and about a woman coming out of that and the struggle that, that she endures um, and how much of a toll it's taken on her emotionally and psychologically. And, and so the crux of the story and, and the dynamic of what Lee had written of, of, of the character of Adrian and the dynamic with Adrian and, and Cecilia was so truthful mm -hmm. that uh, I just really wanted to be a part of it. And I feel like it's important that we tell these stories because what was so disturbing was in sort of researching for the movie was how prevalent these kind of toxic relationships are sure. and how there are very, this is a very extreme version, but they also exist, these extreme versions. And then there are versions of it where it's it's just emotional manipulation mm -hmm. or it's, and, and, and I think that Lee has tapped into something really interesting that we witness daily and we maybe don't spend enough time looking at or addressing and so, I don't think I necessarily felt scared sort of taking it on because I felt like it was an important story to tell. It just doesn't make any sense. What? Adrian wouldn't kill himself. Listen, you're getting your freedom back, okay? Don't let them haunt you. These Universal Monster movies have always kind of had these metaphors for yeah. these real world fears. Yeah. Do you have a sense, like what, when you're, in your opinion, why are horror movies like the perfect vessel to explore some of these ideas? I. <laughs> I think it just makes it palatable for mm -hmm. an audience. You know, it's it's the kind of the, it's you know it's it's how we've always. I did a, a show last year uh, for Netflix called The Haunting of Hill House, and and it's it, that was all about childhood abuse. Mm -hmm. And I think you're able, an audience is able to um, to sort of receive it um, without it being too confronting but leaving them with a thought in their head and so mm -hmm. it just it just makes it palatable i think for an audience and which is why it's such an interesting genre and specifically over the past couple of years what's happened to the genre these really f important stories are being told through it and um and audiences are able to relate to them in, in a way. Were, were you ever in like a motion capture suit or anything to play the invisible <laughs> man? I had to know. I was like, is that you? <laughs> oh, <laughs> do you know what? We've, 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 been, we've been told we're not allowed to, okay. <laughs> to say how we made it, but it was, uh, it was, it was quite the experience. Mm -hmm. um, I, signing onto it, I kind of hadn't really thought any of that through sure. and then yeah. was confronted with the reality when I got to Australia.